Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the online class of Dr. Kastikir Government Girls High School. Here is my introduction. Today, I am with you, Tauhida Armana Senior Teacher English, Dr. Kastikir Government Girls High School. Chattogram. My class is for the students of class six and my subject is English for today. So, dear learners, how are you? Hope and pray that all of you are okay and fine. I am also well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Let's start our today's class. Look at the picture. Here, this is a logo of a uh, famous company on the uh, helmet of a person. Are you familiar with this logo? Yes, this is the logo of Food Panda. I think most of you are very much familiar with this uh, logo Food Panda. This is an online food and grocery delivery platform, uh, largest and very famous in Asia. Uh, they tried to delivery, uh, deliver their delivered food items or grocery items to their customers, denying all the uh, odds like uh, rough weather, heavy rain, or uh, scorching heat of summer. Mm, when they, whenever you go, whenever you get your food or grocery items at your food steps, very timely, how do you feel? After receiving your desired food or grocery items, you feel, I think you feel very much exciting and happy. So after receiving our desired items, we should say him what? We should, of course, we should thank him. We should say thank you, isn't it? Yes, so today our topic is thanks for your work. You will get it in your EFT book in lesson five. Here is the learning outcomes. After Completing this lesson, you will be able to talk about people, places, and familiar objects in short and simple sentences, ask and answer questions, participate in short dialogues and conversations on familiar topics, read and understand text, and also will be able to write short paragraph. Before going through the passage, we will know, uh, learn some vocabs, that means some new words, meaning of some new words. Let's start. Our first word is rubbish. Here is a picture related to the word rubbish. What do you see? This is a truck which is filled with uh, dirty uh, things, isn't it dirty, unclean things? So what can we say? What is the meaning of rubbish? It means garbage. Now we will try to make a sentence with the word rubbish. Here is a sentence. The truck is full of rubbish. Okay. Try to make another new sentences with this word 
at your home. Our next slide and our next word is collect. Here is a picture related to this word. Look at the picture very much carefully. Here, two person, what are they doing? They are gathering these uh, baggages into a certain place. So what can we say? What is the meaning of collect? It means gather or accumulate. Now, here is a sentence for you with the word collect. They are collecting garbage of that area. Okay. Now, our next slide and next word is unhygienic. Here is a picture related to this word unhygienic. Look at this picture. Here is, here are the uh, school boys and they are enjoying street foods. Is it hygienic or healthy? No, we all know that these kinds of food are not good and healthy for our health. So we can guess the meaning of this word hygienic. It means unhealthy or dirty. Now, I have made a sentence with, for you. Here is a sentence. Try to avoid taking unhygienic street food. Okay. Now, dear learners, let's read the text. Here is your text. Okay. What do you see in the picture? Here is a picture. There are also numbering here, number one, picture number two, number three, number four, five, and six. Okay, nice pictures, aren't they? Now we will see what we have to do. Here are some box with some words. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here is newspaper hawker, rickshaw puller, nurse, waiter, cleaner, postman. Okay. <clears throat> now, let's see the instruction. It's section A. Look and say, use suitable words from the box to describe the occupation of each person below. Here are the pictures. You have to match the picture with this word. You have to look at the picture very much carefully. Then you have to select its, uh, select the occupation of the person, each person, and then you have to select the appropriate word from this box related, related to the occupation of that person, okay? Let's see, here is a person, number one picture, picture number one. What is the uh, occupation of this person? Can you guess? Yes, he is a cleaner, okay? Now, picture number two, a man is delivering a letter to a woman. So we can easily guess that his profession is or his occupation is, he is a postman, okay? Now come to picture number three. This is a very much familiar picture. Uh, we can uh, easily say that she is a nurse. Then picture number four, this is also familiar to us. He is a waiter. Then picture number five, a man 
who is pulling a rickshaw. So we can say him, we can call him a rickshaw puller. And last one, he is a, he, he has some newspaper on his hand. So we can easily guess that he is a newspaper hawker. Okay, number one, he is a cleaner. Number two, he is a postman. She is a nurse. He is a waiter. He is a rickshaw puller. And number six, he is a newspaper hawker. Okay. Now, I'm moving to my next slide. Here is section A1. What you have to do, you have to choose appropriate words from the box to complete the dialogue below. Then act out the dialogue in pairs. Uh, we can, can, can't act out the dialogue in pairs uh, because uh, you are at your home. When our school will open, we will act out the dialogue in our classroom. Okay, here are the words. Letters, restaurant, streets, place, morning. Okay, here are some questions. We have to fill out the gaps by choosing appropriate words from here. Okay, what does a cleaner do? A cleaner cleans our houses, office, and what? Yes, our appropriate word will be streets, etc. Then our next question, what does a newspaper hawker do? A hawker gives us newspapers every, yes, every morning. Then what does a postman do? A postman delivers what? Yes. Here is our word, letters, and other items to us. Then, what does a rickshaw puller do? A rickshaw puller takes us from one, here is the word, one place to another. Then, our last question, what does a waiter do? A waiter serves food at the Last word, here is the last word. Yes, a waiter serves food at the restaurant. Okay. We have uh, filled out the gaps. Okay. Our next slide. Here is the text in section B. Here, read the text about Bulbul and answer the question below. I am reading out the text. You have to follow me, okay? You, have, you will also have to read out the text silently and attentively with me because after that, you have to do some question answer activity, okay? Here is the picture of a cleaner, uh, Bulbul. Bulbul collects rubbish from the Shankar area in Dhaka. Every morning he wakes up at five o'clock and walks along the streets of Shankar to collect rubbish. People of Shankar put their rubbish in plastic bins and leave them in front of their houses. Bulbul, walks from door to door to collect them. Sometimes the beans are very dirty and they smell bad, but Bulbul doesn't mind. He takes out everything from the beans and puts them in his van. He believes that all jobs are important. He works hard every day to keep this area clean. Next portion. Then, last month, Bulbul was sick for two days, so he could not come to collect the rubbish. The people of Shankar were in great trouble. They got piles of rubbish waiting in front of their houses. 
the whole area became dirty and unhygienic. When Bulbul got well, he came back to Shankar. He collected everything from all the bins. Bulbul does not want to fall sick again. He realizes if he stops working, even for a few days only, the whole area will turn into a big dustbin. Okay. Here, what Bulbul does in Shankar area. Now, here is an activity for you. It is section B1. Dear learners, you have to go through the text again. Then you have to try to find out the answer of this questions. Here, our first question, what time does Bulbul wake up? Then number B, where do the people of Shankar put their rubbish? And number C, why does Bulbul think that all jobs are important? Okay. Here I have uh, prepared the answer for you. Uh, you can match the answer with me. Here is the answer of question number A. What time does Bulbul wake up? Bulbul wakes up at five o'clock. Then where do the people of Shankar put their rubbish? Here is the answer. They put their rubbish in front of their houses. Then question number C, why does Bulbul think that all jobs are important? Here is the answer. Bulbul thinks that all jobs are important because all kinds of jobs are done for the betterment of the citizens. Okay. We have other questions. We have another three questions here. Question number D, what happened when Bulbul became sick? Here is the answer. When he was sick, the whole area of Shankar became dirty and unhygienic. Then question number E, what will happen if Bulbul falls sick again? If Bulbul falls sick again, the whole area will become dirty again. Then our last question, what will you say to Bulbul if you meet him? Okay. Here I have prepared the answer according to my choice. Uh, it could be, the answer could be, different in your case okay if i will meet him i will thank him for his job okay i am moving to my next slide here is language focus here notice the verbs in the italics in the following sentences here, Bulbul collects rubbish from the Shankar area in Dhaka. Here, the word collects is in, is in italic forms. This is a verb. Then, every day he wakes up at 5 o'clock and walks along the streets of Shankar. Here, where is the verb? Can you identify? Yes. Here, wakes up and uh, walks is the, are the verbs here. So, let's see. We talk about usual routines in simple present tense. In simple present tense, the verb takes an S or ES if the subject is any one person, he or she. Okay, here. Let's see, 
here in this sentence number a bulbul collects rubbish from the shankar area in dhaka uh, can you identify the subject here yes bulbul is the subject here so bulbul is first person and bulbul is third person singular number okay so if the subject is in third person singular number we have to put an s or es after the verb that's why we have put s after the main verb collect okay bulbul collects rubbish from the shankar area okay like this here way he is third person singular number that's why the verb way takes an extra s here okay now notice the verbs in the following sentences in italics here is the sentence the people in shankur area became very upset the word became is in italic form then our next sentence they got piles of rubbish waiting outside their house here is the word got is in italic and this is also a verb let's see all the sentences here talk about the first so they are in simple past sentence tense in simple past tense the verb is always in its past form like got became etc okay the people in shankar area became very upset the sentence is in past tense so the verb change so the verb the verb is in past tense okay so there will be no change here here they got piles of rubbish waiting outside their house here the verb is in past tense so there will be no change here okay we don't have to put an s or es after the verb got because the sentence whole sentence is in past form now our next slide here section b1 let's see what is the instruction underline all the verbs in text on bulbul in section b write down the past form of the verb in the present tense also write down the present form of the verb in the past tense okay what you have to do you have to underline all the verbs in the text on bulbul in section b then you have to turn the verb into if the uh, verb is in present tense you have to turn the verb into past tense and if the verb is in past tense you have to turn the verb into present tense okay now one is done for you wakes up this is in present form that's why it's turned into past form woke up the past form of wake up is woke up then walks we have got a word on the uh, on bulbul on on the text section b on bulbul we have got a word walks the um, the word walks is in present form we have to change the form into past tense so the past form of walk is walked another word is collect it is in present form so i have converted it into past form that is collected 
by following this model, you have to do the rest. You have to identify the rest of the verbs and you have to change the form of the verb. Okay, dear learners. Now, here is a homework for you. What you have to do, you have to think of a person who helps you live well. Write a composition on this person by answering the following questions. What you have to do, you have to write a composition or prepare a composition by uh, following this question, by answering the question, uh, by, by answering the answer, uh, by answering the question. Okay, you have to prepare a composition. The person could be your house help, your driver, uh, a newspaper hawker, a milkman, anyone, any person who helps you to live well and helps you to live you live a uh, helps you to uh, live a comfortable life. Okay, I think you can do it easily. So I am at the end of my class. I would like to thank you for watching my class. Goodbye, see you. Take care of your health. Allah Hafiz.